ladies and jellyfish, boys and pearls. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Dale Goofs. Today, we are checking out the awesome global test fire of Splatoon. It's the demo version. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Nintendo's sort of answer to the fad for a Call of Duty in Battlefield General first person shooters, except this is a third person shooter, and instead of shooting bullets, you're spraying ink. It's fantastic, and uh, as soon as the death, uh, the global test fire goes live, because as you can see at the moment, if I try and load it up, it's just going to come in with a communication error. Um, we will get into this, I just wanted to quickly um, introduce this, the, the episode before we get started, so uh, I guess I'll bring you back in when uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so here we go guys. There are three types of uh, weapons in Splatoon. We've got the Splatter Shot and the Splatter Shot Junior. They're basically Splatter Shot type weapons. We've got the Splat Roll, which is the second type, and the Splat Charger. And I'm actually going to go with the Splat Charger first. Um, I have played this game before. I played the heck out of it at Eurogamer last year with my buddy Chris. And um, I also played it this morning at something like 4am when the first global test fire thing went live. Um, and I'm going to basically just do three matches. They're each three minutes long. Um, and I'm going to start with my least favorite weapon type. It's still a great weapon type, the Charger. It's fantastic. Uh, but I'm going to go through them in order of my, my least favorite to my favorite. So here we go. I'll explain the controls as we go. Um, oh, man, it's so fun. It's a turf war. So basically, all we have to do is cover the most area we can in ink. And, um, oh, chaos. Chaos is crazy. So with the uh, Charger, you can quickly uh, rapid fire with the R button, or ZR button, it doesn't do much. Um, but the main gimmick behind the Charger is you hold it and you fire it to do a heck load of spraying. Um, the other gimmick of Splatoon, of course, is that you want to press ZL here to go into squid form and climb up walls and swim around in ink. And it, also, it will also refill your ink meter. There's an enemy over here. Uh, you don't really get points for defeating enemies, but you do... Um, get a, or when they explode, they will create a huge mess of your ink color. So uh, that's really what you want to be aiming to do. There's a guy over there, let's see if I can poke him out with the charge shot. No, I can't quite reach him. Kind of stinks. Come on. Okay, so that's, that's a really difficult thing to do with a charger. Um, pulling out, uh, trying to get a, uh, a roller guy, because the whole point of the rollers is, um, they're meant to be quick. I'm always on the move. Someone's trying to get me. Can I get him? No, they're right down there. I can't reach them. But I can... Oh, there they are. They went into their ink. So they're going to try and probably sneak up behind me. Yeah, look. Oh, he got me. He got me. Okay, so I concentrated there. But I think I also got him. Um, I, I kind of panicked there with the, uh, the whole... Um, the whole thing, or the, the whole scatter shot charging, so I tend to, I went with the rapid shot. So you see there, I uh, quickly jumped to an area where um, my teammates were using the gamepad, and there I got completely destroyed by a roller guy. The rollers seem really, really overpowered. Uh, <laughs> uh, who can I jump to? Let's jump to you. Yeah, the rollers seem pretty overpowered. I... Oh, there's a... I just jumped straight in front of a guy. And yeah, I, I suck with the I suck with the charger. <laughs> the charger is is good for distance, but I can't seem to get it right. There's only a minute left, uh, so let's look at the map. They are absolutely dominating us. Let's swim for a bit. So the idea is when you're in your own color ink, you're really well hidden, and it also charges up your ink pretty fast. So let's see if I can just get a bunch of ink laid down. Okay. I think I see. Yeah, I see someone there. Oh, there is someone shooting at me from above. And they use the bubble. Uh, there's also a special weapon, which I haven't seemed to be able to use yet. Um, and also we've got the R button here. We can use bombs. Um, again, this, that's a sub-weapon. And the special weapon is... Can we get them? I think I think someone got him. No, there's still a... Oh, dear! <laughs> I got destroyed there! Did you see that guy leaping in and out of the ink? Oh, my goodness. Gravy! I'm, I, I, no, there's no way we're going to win this one. Looking at the map. They got so much more than us. As I said, this is my least favorite weapon type. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Uh, the other ones I'm so much better at. No, that... That stinks. That stinks. That was awful. Look at that! <laughs> they must have beaten us by like at least 20%. Yeah, almost 20%. That's ridiculous! Okay, so I'm going to quickly back out of this group and uh, switch to my second favorite weapon type, which is uh, the Aroller. And uh, let's see if we can get in a different group. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't really matter if uh, we're in a different group or not. I just... <sighs> that was really bad. So the roller is quite overpowered, in my opinion, uh, simply because it lays down so much ink, and you still move really fast when you're laying down the ink. Um, and you're not that much of a target, because as a roller, you don't have to stop and sort of aim and shoot. You're continuously sort of rolling and on the move, so you're a pretty difficult target to hit. I guess, like, using bombs, you can be hit quite easily, because you can see where they're going to walk into. But other than that, it's pretty difficult. The The only thing which sucks about being a roller type... Oh, this is the other area which is really fun. Uh, the only thing that sucks about being a roller type is um, they're very close range. You cannot um, fire from far. So uh, if you see, we, we can tap the R button to um, fling ink down, but if we hold it down, we go into roller mode and we just paint the floor and just watch our score at the top right rack up um, so as I said you don't get points for oh, ink flow so yeah we do run out of ink using the roller type you don't get points for um, defeating people or defeating enemies but you do um, cause a big ink splat to sort of um, go around them in your color as well let's see if I can get this going come on come on gotcha yeah Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm screwed. I'm screwed! <laughs> so uh, the cool thing about the grates is as a human character, you can stand on them. But um, if you go into squid form, you can fall through them. So that can be used to your ad advantage. Get inked. I got inked. But I also inked them, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, come on. Let's see, who can we jump to? You. You're quite far in, in, the, in the lead. Let's jump to you. Again, we're losing this match, it seems. Uh, this special weapon, or this, this the sub-weapon for this one, is just these little mines. And they're very interesting. Let's see if I can get this. I got someone. I did it. I, I took someone out. Oh dear, ink is low. So that's something you have to watch out with as the roller type. Okay. Okay, come on. I expect someone to be coming down here, but they're not. Okay, so I've got my my weapon, or my, my um, special weapon, and here it is. Do not ask me what that is, but I got someone with it. Okay, I need to charge up some ink. Let's go. Let's go this way, because I saw someone trying to shoot me from around there. And they've gone, it seems. No, they haven't. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Splat. It's so satisfying. This game is so cool. Is my ink about to run out? I don't think it is. Oh, it, this game is incredible. Oh, he got me. I, I saw as he was walking up, he had it charged. So the charger is, a, I think, pretty much a one-shot kill. Let's tap to jump over there. Um, but again, it's really difficult to pinpoint that. Okay, here we go. I think I saw someone over there from the other team. No, that's, no that is from the other team. Splat. 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 Oh, it's so satisfying and great. There's someone over to the right there. Uh, oh, ink is low. Let's quickly charge up. Oh, that was so pro! That was so pro! Oh, do you see the swim and the jump and the splat? Hold it. Hold it. Let's quickly use that sensor bomb. I think I got someone. I did! I got them! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's get you as well. Splat! Oh, look at this. I am bossing this game for this level. <laughs> there is no way. I must have got the top score in that one. I was just, I was just too good. I was too good. It looks like we won. Not by a sizable amount, but it looks like we won. And come on, I must have got the high score there. Because I just absolutely wrecked. Come on, let's see. Yeah, look at that. The top score by 300, uh, 200 and a bit points. 250 points, but still, that's crazy. So, that was the roller type weapon. As you can see, it takes a bit of getting used to, but very powerful. And now we're going to use the final one, my favourite, the splatter shot. This is the rapid fire medium range weapon. And it's so fun, it's so satisfying, just spraying ink absolutely everywhere. So let's hope we can get into a match really quick, so that I can show this off, and then end the video there, because oh, it's been fun, and I can't wait for you guys to see this. This is oh, so fantastic. I can't wait for this game to launch. I've already got it pre-ordered with all three Amiibo. Uh, it's coming out on the 29th of May, globally, I think, at the same time, so that's fantastic. It's taken a while to join this battle, uh, so I will cut back to when we are in. I'm also going to take a drink now as well, because, man, my throat is dry. Alrighty, here we go, so we're back on Salt Spray Rig. This time using the Splatter Shot, this is going to be good. Are we green again? Are we green the first time or the second time? I forget. 
Green versus pink, let's go. So, splatter shot is simple. You just hold down ZR to rain ink everywhere. Let's see if I can get a good good rhythm going. <laughs> I got a good rhythm going. Um, so here's a good area to try and get first in the soft spray rig. Because it's right in between the two areas. And someone's going to try and jump down. Let's see if I can slap them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, swing down, charge our ink up a bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So I don't want to get too close to their base because that's obviously where they're going to spawn and they're going to have a bunch of ink. That guy's going there, so it's good. Let's get this bit of ink here. And there's lots of pink here, so it's obviously better to cover up their ink colour with yours. Oh, let's use some bombs here. I can't. So these these this sub weapon is sort of like a balloon. There's a little bit of spray and it, it, it explodes instantly. There's someone. Splat. Splat. Oh, I can't splat. Run out of ink. Okay, they both got splat. That's good. Is there anyone up here? This area is sort of good to get late in the game, because otherwise it's... No one comes to this area right in the back here. Um, also, it's great to get the high ground, especially if a roller guy shows up, because they cannot get you from up here. And look at this. You just spray everywhere. Actually... Oh, I wanted to get on that grate, I've never been on that grate before. That'd be cool. Obviously, though, if you're on the grate, you can't uh, restore your ink, because you can't go into ink mode. Uh, looks like I've got a roller guy helping. So you can use the down pad or the D-pad to send messages to, to me, or sort of like, nice and to me. Um, looking at the map, they've actually got a big advantage over us. Because they've got a huge area. There's also a pink one in there. Got him. Let's get that one. Yeah! Okay, so there's a big pink area. And when it's saying, oh no, they're using their special. I've got their special as well. So uh, this special one is you just get loads of bombs you can throw straight away. It's fantastic for the short range. Okay. So there's a pink guy coming. That's a green guy. Awesome. Teammate. Yeah. One minute left. Let's do this, guys. Oh no. Oh, he's flagging. He snuck up. Just looking at the, the map, though, we have got a huge lead over them. They've pretty much got their base sorted, and that's about it. We're just going to teleport this guy. Super jump. Super jump punch. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi go. Okay. Can I jump down there as a shortcut? No, I don't want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Let's just swim. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Awesome. I thought he had me then. So let's spray some more ink. Okay. Someone's jumping to me. That's good. Good, good, good. Get some backup. They're all sort of fighting over this area. It would seem. Yeah, 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 yeah! Get you, get you. There's another guy over there. Now let's use the bombs quickly. Because I've got the power, power shot thing. Yeah, splattered. Come on, let's get the last minute victory. We clinched that. That is pretty much the entire battlefield is filled there. It looks like we got at least 70%. Look at that, that is insane. <laughs> so, 64%. I was close. There you go, guys. That was Splatoon. I think I did pretty well there as well. Did I get top score on that one? Yeah. By, uh, again, 300 points. How crazy. So I'm going to continue playing this. I mean, I've got 45 minutes left of this um, of this uh, global test fire demo scene. Um, but first of all, I'm going to edit this video together and get it up on YouTube so you guys can see it straight away. There is another test fire thing happening today at 8 p.m. GMT. Um, and I will assume they will bring out more Global Test Fire periods uh, before the game launches on the 29th, because it's good to three weeks away. Uh, but anyway, that will do it, guys. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Dale Goofs, and I'll see you all next time.